Hey, brother. Uh, I'm really going to make a quick introduction. Um, uh, the next video you're going to see really tells everything. Um, all I can say is, you are the man, and thank you. And by the way, I did have the male racer on, uh, even though I was racing females, as you can see. Um, one quick thing, I want to show you what we're working on right now. We pulled up all the carpets. I was kind of waiting for you to come visit to do it, but um, I couldn't wait that long. All the carpets, and we're putting in the, um, the laminar flooring. So that's the first strip. First strip's in. And uh, can you shut that front door, Marshall, please? And uh, yeah, there we go. So again, thank you for the awesome birthday present. And uh, yes, of course, I'm still dead. <laughs> hey, Dan. So. That was the intro, and I figured I'd do a little voiceover so you don't have to watch this. So, of course, the first thing I always do is I take temper the wa temperature of the water. I'm eating tuna and crackers right now, so bear with me. Um, and I, I thought it was hilarious what the temperature ended up on. Here we go. 66.6. The world might not have been, but um, yeah, we're all in film now, done. so there's no. So obviously, this is a quick overview of everybody. We had a huge group. There's no of, running and hiding. Lynn and Kurt and Aaron. That's Jamie right there. She's the one of the people who's coaching me now. That's Willie. His dad's the mayor. That's Dave. That's Glenn's older brother. That's Jerry on the right. Woman. That's Rich back there, bald. Uh, that was Kate Peterson. And this is Chris. Just met him. This is his first time out um, in open water. So here's the big group. All right, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think there are like 12 of us. Maybe more. So there's one guy who came up. So there I am, man. I'm sporting it. And um, what was hilarious is I tell you, man, that thing was like a, a, a sea anchor, if you know what a sea anchor is. Um, but uh, they have these, um, these um, um, uh, a training device called a drag suit, which is essentially just a really loose-fitting suit. And I decided that this was a drag cap, which was funny because it obviously has two meanings. Um, Oh, so I swam all the way over, and all the way back with it. Um, the great thing was, is <clears throat> it wasn't a problem spotting me in the water. Um, and the hilarious thing is, is it fit over my regular cap. Maybe had this, like I was wearing a friggin' helmet. Isn't that thing great? I like something on the B-52s. Are you filming? Yep. Good. <laughs> Dan! <laughs> Film this real quick. Dan, thanks for the hat. I love it. I'm filming so fast right now. <laughs> um, I later offered for anybody else to wear it, but nobody took me up on it. I did tell them, though, that the last... If we were racing over, the last person back had to uh, wear it on the next lap, but nobody took me up on it, which is too bad. Now here we are going the long distance. The short distance was about 175 across. The long distance is somewhere between like 550 and 600 yards. It was really, I mean, it was just really cool. You know, to get this entire group out. I mean, it was just, it was awesome having all these people out. Um, it was, I mean, it wasn't a warm day. It was about 70 degrees um, and a little bit windy, but it was, you know, it was pretty good. And the water was cold, but probably more like 64 or 62 out. That, that guy right there, we'll see if she shows him again. I'll point him out. He's the uh, swim coach at the high school. I mean, look at that. It's just so cool. All these people swimming. I love it. Anyway, it's, um, it was just really fun to have that big of a group out and for all of them to be into it. And, and, um, and like I said, the water was cold, so you had to you had to earn it. You know what I mean? Um, 
but it was I think it was well worth it um, and there was one point where I was coming back and, and you know I'm nice and warm and that that wetsuit's buoyant um, so what I did is I actually swam back out after this lap right here finished to grab yeah you know, essentially swim back with Boris um, so I swam back out and, and Boris is um, um, a bit slower of a swimmer than I am so I was I had some time to just kind of goof around so what I did is I just laid on my back and the great thing about that wetsuit is you're so buoyant that you can just lay there without any effort at all and float and what I did is I shut my eyes and it just felt like I was spinning in, in, a, in, in circles I think probably because of you know constantly turning my head breathing it got it got the um, you know my inner ear spinning in a particular direction but it was just uh, it was so relaxing the sun was shining on me I and mean, it was just absolutely wonderful really really was a good time um, and uh, Got it. so I think when you come out and visit I'm gonna get you into a wetsuit and we're gonna go out and do some open water swimming you'll have, you'll have fun I think but you have to at least do it so um, and then the greatest th the great thing is afterwards we we grilled out Glenn there's Glenn waving to you he brought his grill um, and that is Jamie mixing up the salad that's the coach that I'm looking for one of the coaches I'm looking for that's uh, Bo and oh I can't you know they really should be out swimming with that's Rich Rich is dog and um, you still got that's Boris <laughs> and Kurt Kurt you know, swim Boris and Kurt swim without wetsuits yeah. because they're that's super it. tough um, and that's Anne and her husband Todd uh, Aaron, whose birthday it was, and his wife and kids came out. Absolutely. I think I was still in the pool. Who is that? She's the number one contributor. Oops, knocked the... Uh, sorry, knocked the... I guess that's it. So I'm going to close this out and say I'm still dead. <laughs>